Hello friends, welcome to BSP Solutions. My name is Basant and today I'm going to show you how to load trial balance in Oracle FCCS through DM that is data management. So let's start. So first we have to go to our application. So this is my application and we have to go to navigator that is in top left column. So I will click it and we have to open data management. Okay, so it is loaded. So first we have to go to the setup. I will click on it. Okay, after clicking you will see many options here. So first we have to define our source system. Okay, I have already created one source system that is file. So I will select it and click save. Okay, after saving you have to select your target application. So in target application, you can see uh, we have many applications or you can create yours also. So I've already created one application that is VISCNCL. I will select that and click save. Okay. So as you can see you, in this, you have many dimensions and be sure that you have all the dimensions present here with the same format. And uh, after this, you have to create one import format so we are going to load trial balance uh, so we need one format for that but first we create one import format okay so i will name it as imf underscore tv load okay and give it and the sources file and the file type is delimited numeric data okay and let's save it okay it is saved okay so here is our file and in this file you can see that we have various sources source column field number expression and targets so we have to keep it as blank but you have to be sure that all these targets are present and then we will click save again and yes then we move on to a location and in location you have to create one location i will click add and after clicking add you have to name give a name for this i am giving as loc tb load and in this you have to give import format okay so my import format was which i have created earlier that is imf underscore tb load okay i will select that and your yeah, sources file and everything is fine here i will quickly just save it and then we move on to workflow you can see here and we have to do the mappings Okay, first we select our location in this. So my location was LOC. Let's reset it and search. Okay, it was LOC underscore TB load. Yeah, this was it. I will select and click OK. And my period for this is Jan and year is 15. So, so let's click OK. And in this, I am going to give the like mapping so for account in this i will click like and then click add okay rule number rule name you can give any rule name and for data i'm skipping this yeah data source is a uh, system generated so we do do not need to have to define this let's move to entity for this, I'm also going, going to give the like mapping. Click save. Every time you make one mapping, you have to save it. And for from currency, again, I'm to, going to give uh, like mapping, but in the target value, I'm giving it as entity currency. Okay. 
save this also. Then move on to intercompany and in intercompany you will see here I'm again giving the like mapping, but in the target I'm giving as no intercompany that is FCCS underscore no intercompany. Okay, moment. So in this, I'm going to use um, the cash account. So it is system generated, but I am changing this to FCCS underscore moments cash. Let's save it. Okay, multi gap is also system generated. As you can see, it is correct. And for product, uh, I'm giving it as no product. Okay, in target, you have to give no product. Okay, let's save it. And uh, after saving, you have to go to data load rule. Okay, it is present here. First, we have to download, go to workbench and download the template. So here you can see in work data load workbench, you see the download template option. And in the drop down, you will see trial balance. So, my trial balance has been downloaded. I will open it. Okay. So, enable editing. Okay. So, in this, you can see we have the accounts column and center is just the entity and uh, description you can give any and the current month is for amounts you have in which you are going to put some amounts so i'm going to use some accounts which i will show you let's go to our application and go to dimensions so in this account uh, accounts dimension I'm going to use some cash accounts. I will show you. Okay. So under total assets, we have current assets and under and this we have cash and cash equivalents. And in this, I'm going to use this three, four accounts. Okay. So let's copy, just uh, copy it or write it down. Okay, these four accounts I'm going to use and in entity, let's take one entity also, go to entity dimension and okay, in all corporate company, yeah, I'm using this T underscore 100, which is the uh, super parent and I'm using this T underscore 101. Okay, and amount, I will give any random amount. Okay, so let's save it. And close this. Okay, then we go to data load rule. And click add. We have to make one data load rule. So I will give a name for this that is TLR TB load. Okay. Category is actual and I have to give the import format. So my import format was IMF underscore TB load. I will select it and select my file which uh, we have just downloaded and put the data in it so it is in downloads this is my file open and click ok ok we have to choose the file from the here also ok so now target is uh, cube console let's quickly save this ok so we have to execute it now Click on execute and uh, I'm going to import the 
data and also export the data right now okay export mode is a place and click run so our job has been executed okay let's refresh okay as you can see we got the status as the green tech and let's go to workbench and let's see we got the golden fishes or not so yeah you can see we got the um, golden fish in, fish for import for validate and export also okay so here is the entities accounts and we can see the mappings here and you can see the amounts as well so let's quickly go to the excel and uh, let's see uh, what figures we are getting in the smart view okay so i will connect the excel to the smart view first i will define the pov there okay we got the structure so scenario was actual view was periodic and currency was entity currency if you remember the mappings and movement was changes in cash that is the alias for that we have given okay data sources manage data consolidation is entity input intercompany is no intercompany multi gap was local gap product was no product okay year was fi15 as you can remember period was jan and accounts were 101, 102, 103, and uh, one, one, double one, 200. Okay, our entity was T underscore 101. I will copy it and let's click refresh. Okay, movement I will give again that is changes in cash okay so here you can see we got the perfect numbers perfect amount for the trial balance which we have just uploaded imported in our dm so this was the case of loading the trial balance in our application through dm that is data management so if you have any query, please visit our website that is bspsolutions.com and uh, thank you for watching.